Ben ben senin büyük fazla ne yapayım? Ben senin adam ne yapayım? Başım ben, başım ben canım, başım ben. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Brinda. Suas. <laughs> and today we're in the kitchen and we're going to be making chocolate lava cake. Yes. So in our Valentine's vlog, I actually made this dessert for him. I, it is his absolute favorite, and a lot of you requested the recipe. So we thought, why not shoot it for you? Yeah, I'm just here for visual purposes. I'm just gonna <laughs> ask questions, maybe make it easy for you guys. You know, because uh, us normal people, we have a lot of questions. So so let's just get into the video. All right. So the first step is that you're gonna be prepping your ramekins. Now you could use glass ones or the aluminum ones that I'm using. Um, just make sure that they can stand high temperatures. What sizes can be used? This is a five inch. Uh, pot pie pan what you're going to do is take some butter and rub it on the ramekins really well okay why do we do this just to ensure that the lava cake when you flip it it falls off easily you don't want the lava stuck to this because if the cake is stuck to it the lava will just come yeah. out and oh yeah so the lava cake yeah the lava cake is a cake but it's filled with liquid inside like it's liquidy right i don't yeah. know how it's made i really want to know how it's made okay Heavily buttered, eh? Yeah. Wow. So now that they are buttered, we will just take some uh, flour, maida, and uh, put it in the ramekins. All-purpose so flour. Yeah, all-purpose flour, maida, whatever you have at home. Um, the reason why we're doing this is so that the flour gets coated, like covers the butter and helps in even release of the lava cake when you flip it so just gently tap you can also do it for me for this time. Sure. so just make sure that you cover the flour oh so the flour has to stick to the yeah, sides it will stick to the sides because you have butter on them right so i don't know if you can see this but you'll see that the flour is covering the butter yeah Mine, mine is completely covered. Yeah. So once it's done, then you can tap it on the next, next one. Just make sure your ramekins are completely mm -hmm. coated. Whoa, right? Yeah, really cool. yeah. So then let's do it for the next one. तुम लकी हो तुम्हें बनाना आता है, okay? अब तुम लकी हो because तुम्हें मिल जाता है बिना बनाए. I was just joking. I was just joking. Oh well, hello guys. So I will be taking over for my wife. Uh, I have never said this, but I'm a much better baker than she is. I can bake uh, store-bought brownies, cakes, store-bought brownies, Danish yeah, cookies. Okay. Yeah. So as I was saying, I am very useful in certain situations. So bye. Okay, moving on to the next step. I'm gonna take one cup of uh, semi-sweet chocolate. You okay, can no, use. I have a question. Sorry, okay. sir. So I, for the longest time, whenever someone said one cup, yeah. I would always literally take a glass or a uh -huh. cup. Uh -huh. And so what is the measurement of cups? Like, I, I never knew that. Basically, this is a set of uh, bakers, a baker's measuring tools. You'll essentially need about eight of these. They come in different sizes where you have pre-laid like half cup, one fourth cup, one third cup oh. or a full cup. That's and half cup? Yeah. Oh, it's oh, labeled here, one third, yeah. one half. So yeah. there's one cup. Oh. And obviously some spoons were like, Tablespoons, teaspoons, half yeah. a teaspoon, one four teaspoon. Everything's there. Okay. Yeah. So then it's easier for you to actually measure it out. Before even I had these uh, measuring tools, I would also base my um, measurements with maybe like a cup and yeah. use the same cup for measuring half a cup or one oh, cup. Yeah, that right. So sense. that's when you so maintain the quantity. Yeah. And then you're gonna take half cup of unsalted butter. Why unsalted butter is because different butter producers or manufacturers use different quantities of salt. While they make the butter, oh, so that's why they say unsalted butter. I'm yeah, like, why would you do that? When you have unsalted butter, then you know for sure there's no salt in them. Okay. Yeah. And if you say salted butter, then different butters will have different um, quantities of salt in them. My wife. So, <laughs> yeah. So we'll take half a cup of unsalted butter, and we'll put it on. Oops, <laughs> on the chocolate, and then we're gonna microwave it in. Bursts of 30 seconds. I think it's going to take about a minute. What do you mean bursts of 30 seconds? Bursts as in uh, a time frame of 30 seconds each. So 30 seconds at a glance and then 30 Why? seconds again. Because if we do it for one minute at a stretch, the chocolate can burn. And you don't want that. 
Oh, Another solution for this could be using a double boiler, but who has the time for that? <laughs> so that goes in the microwave for 30 seconds. 30 bursts of 30 seconds. So for 30 seconds, we'll just okay. wait. What? Like, but I think you can see one another, but you can see it. I'm so beautiful, you can see me, but I can't see you. You're so beautiful, I'm so beautiful, I'm so beautiful, I'm so beautiful, I'm so beautiful. See what I have to deal with. Excuse me, see what I have to deal with? She's making chocolate cakes, like who makes chocolate lava cakes? My wife. For any recipe, any baking recipe, you should just keep in mind this one thing, that all your ingredients should be at room temperature. Now, every location has a different room temperature but uh, your butter and eggs shouldn't be too cold and they shouldn't be too hot and they should be somewhere in the middle and two bursts of 30, 30 butter seconds butter is completely melted and uh, we're just gonna put the butter all over the chocolate so that the chocolate doesn't get burnt and my lava cake always had this much butter yeah it's not one lava cake it, this recipe makes about at least four to five okay. four to five why i'm saying this is because the size of your ramekins depend, like matters. Okay. If it's a bigger size, then obviously this could be split into two or three okay. ramekins. And yeah. if you take smaller ramekins, then maybe you could make six out of them. Okay. Right. Now this this is melted. We're just gonna mix it. I can do that for you. Yeah, sure. Just make sure the butter and the chocolate are combined. Yeah, so I'm more of a helper. <laughs> you are the prep. sous chef. Oh, <laughs> I'm a sous chef. Yes. Good. Yeah, that, that's a good My one. pun game is always wrong. Okay. Just make sure it's then. combined completely. Yeah. So once the chocolate and butter are combined, I'm gonna take half a teaspoon of instant espresso. Is that combined enough? Yeah, that is. And I'm just gonna put that in. The reason why I'm putting coffee in chocolate is because when you put coffee in chocolate, you enhance the flavor of the chocolate. All right, cool. So we will just set this aside and wait for it to cool down a little and we're gonna start prepping on our eggs. I'm gonna be taking two whole eggs and two egg yolks. Now, yolks obviously are the yellow bit in the egg, if you don't know. And I have separated them already, like two whole eggs and two egg yolks in this bowl. And I'm just gonna put that in. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna be using a stand mixer here, but in case you don't have one, you can use a normal, regular whisk or maybe an electric mixer if you have. Okay, so after we whisk the eggs, I'm gonna take one fourth cup of granulated sugar. All right, and then, ouch. Then we're gonna whisk it again till the time we see a light yellow lemony color and the eggs are voluminous. Like They've whipped. doubled in like size. They're whipped eggs? They're whipped, yeah. They become and thick, right? Foamy. They become foamy, yeah. Okay, so just for your understanding, this is a light lemony color. I can show it. Yeah. And uh, Whoa. it's gonna be a little runny, but it's still gonna look foamy. Wow. Yeah. That's magic, I hope right? you can see that. Yeah. And did you know that chocolate lava cake actually has little to no amounts of flour in it? Actually, sort of like a flourless cake. Really? Give or take one or two tablespoons. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is combine chocolate, butter, and coffee. And you'll see that it's not hot anymore. Because if you put hot chocolate in your eggs, you're gonna cook the eggs. And you wanted lava cake in the first place, not scrambled eggs. So oh we... <laughs> my god, that happens? I don't I don't even know we have to think like that. Yeah. Oh by the way, I just added a pinch of salt. Uh, along with the sugar in the eggs while I was whipping them up. You can um, avoid that step as well, but uh, it's just a matter of personal choice again because I like salt with the chocolate in the cake. You can choose to not put it if you don't want to. So let's just put it. <laughs> you have the whole cake now. Now you can make a cake and have it too. Wow. You're gonna gently fold the chocolate in the batter. I can do that for you. 
just be gentle okay yeah. can i trust you with it yes you don't want to knock me. yeah be very gentle okay you don't want to knock out the air that you just put in by whisking your eggs right that was yellow yeah and now it's not Ooh. So this cake how, how do you get the liquid in between the cake how does that happen so the thing is that essentially the lava is actually just this liquid that's sort of at the temperature where you've cooked the eggs but it's not set yet so the sides the top and the bottom of the cake are set and just the center is not set right wow. so that's what that's forms, hard work forms the lava yeah. yeah he really wants to do a taste test go go pura itna sara okay so now you will see that the chocolate has been combined i can hold it yeah with the egg the last step for the preparation of the lava cake is that you will add about 2 to 2 and a half tablespoons of all purpose flour in it you could do two and then maybe add half a tablespoon extra if you think that it needs some more shape you gently fold that in yeah you just have to make sure that there are no flower pockets in the batter because there are times when you'll you'll think that you mix the batter completely but then there's some flower stuck at the bottom and you actually have to make sure you get rid of that because you don't want to just taste powder right in your cake now i'm just going to put the batter into the ramekins that we had prepared and i'm not going to fill it completely i'm going to fill about 3/4 why is that because it's going to rise a little oh it won't rise a lot but it's going to rise a little i just don't want it to overflow Ooh. So I've evenly distributed the batter into four ramekins that we prepared. Now that we're done, we're going to put these in the oven that's preheated to a 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 to 10 minutes. Now this time is relative to the size of your ramekin and also how your oven behaves. Mine usually takes about 7 to 8 minutes. It's coming out. It's My cake good. is out. Look at. Okay. Look at. Yeah, I take this one. Okay. So before we actually demold them, we'll have to wait for them to cool down a little in the ramekin itself. Perfectionist. Oh my god, no. I don't claim to be one. I try to be one. Like <laughs> that. I am feeling a bit anxious now. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, is that good? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Clean release. I'm so excited. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That actually does look good. <laughs> now I'm just gonna. Jaldi, jaldi. Dust some sugar on it. Sugar. Acha, this what they put. Yo. Ooh, how does that taste? I like mine covered with sugar. I don't know if you can like see it properly, but I will try to plate it up nicely. <laughs> but if not, then please excuse me. That's what the cake looks like. <laughs> excuse us. I mean, excuse me. I'm gonna let her. Plating. I'm actually gonna let her cut it, and then I'll eat it. So, Brenda, it's all yours. There we are. Well. All right. So now I'm going to dig in and take a bite before Sue does. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. I'm going to take a strawberry. Mm. Okay. So you must have seen that in my lava cake the uh, molten lava was a little thick. That's because we let them rest uh, for a minute in the ramekins because that also helps cook the cake because of the heat in there and uh, if you just take it out instantly the lava will be a little too runny and can burn your mouth as well so i just prefer to have a thicker lava than burning my mouth so you can also keep that in mind and 
Let me know whenever you try the lava cake recipe and I will see you in our next video. Until then, like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Is it Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> they need to know that you have taken control of all the remaining lava cakes in the video. Mein bane the. Ye tum rakh lo. Aisa. So I just get one, you get all three. Yeah. And a bite, maybe I just took for that. Mm. I hope they learn it so they can make it for their husbands and wives. <laughs> okay. Okay. Enjoy. Bye. Mm.